Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to do a Valentine's Day look. Um, I just want to do something kind of soft, but like fresh and dewy. And I'll show you the main like product that I'll be using. It's really the inspiration for this look. Um, yeah, and last year I did like a more glam Valentine's Day look, so you can always check out that one if that's more your style but I think this is gonna be good so I already have my uh, primer foundation concealer on um, because I'm not like trying anything special for those products and this look doesn't like it can I think work with your usual routine unless you like something very matte and full coverage Anyway, maybe I should just get into it so that it makes sense. So, yes, the product I'm using, I bought myself for Valentine's Day. It's the Natasha Denona Love Glow Cheek Palette. So, if you guys have seen some of my other videos, you might know the Bloom version of this is one of my favorite products. So, of course, I had to get this one. And look at this packaging. It's so pretty. Wow. So if you open it up, it looks like this. So it kind of looks like the Bloom palette. And I wasn't sure I was going to pick this up because it looked really similar online. But then I was watching some videos um, and they were saying how the formulas are actually different from the Bloom palette and I would say the Bloom palette is more like a peachy corally and this is definitely more like pink tones so perfect for Valentine's Day and yeah I did watch Natasha Denona's tutorial using this palette because um, I wasn't sure really in what order to use the products. I'm trying to get the plastic off the mirror. And also, unlike the Bloom palette, you only have one cream shade. It's this one here. You can see everything in this mirror. Um, that's the Glow Cream Base. And then this is a Super Glow formula. This one is the Glow Impact Powder. And this is the Diamond Powder. So in the video, she used all the products on the model and that's kind of what I want to do today. So she went in first with the Glow Cream Base and she used a sponge, so that's what I'm going to do. And I hope this lighting will actually show you what I'm doing. So she applied this where you would normally apply your highlighter, at least for me. And then she kind of brought it down onto the cheeks, but she didn't put it like on the apples. Is that showing up? She did seem to use a lot of product <laughs> when she did that video. But yeah, I can see it already. And I think this product also helps the other products stick down. Yeah, the lighting's gonna go in and out because I'm using my computer screen <laughs> as uh, lighting. Ooh, that looks Pretty. Then she went in with the Super Glow, which is this here, and this she said is very intense. Yeah, it's like pretty much metallic if you can see it there. Yeah, so that's a swatch. And she used a brush, a blush brush specifically. So that's what I'm going to do. And she just put it on top of the the glow base mm -hmm. 
and she did blend it out as well and she brought it up to the temples yes that's what I was going for And then she went in with the Glow Impact Powder, so this here, which is, I guess, most like your traditional uh, highlighter formula. Um, but she used this with her finger. It's very, like, hard-pressed in the pan. Looks like this. So it's like a golden champagne-y shade with maybe, like, a bit of pink in it. And she said to put this on the highest points of the cheekbone. And she also put this on the bridge of the nose and the other like usual places where you would put um, highlighter. And she went in with the brush also. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this, I don't know what it is, but it's a Royal and Lang Nickel brush. Just to buff it out. And then last she took the um, diamond powder, which is basically glitter. So if you hate glitter on your face, you probably won't like this. It looks really pretty though. And she put this also on the highest point of the cheekbone with her finger. And she also said that all of these formulas are um, eye and lip safe also. So if you wanted to use these as your eyeshadow or like as a lip topper, you could do that as well. Yeah, that looks really pretty. So that's basically what I was going for. Like a nice like fresh dewy pink tone look. And she also came out with a eyeshadow palette in the same collection, but I don't need it. It's like pinks and purples, and I have so many of those already, so. But that, I just needed to pick it up. <laughs> because I love her, um, her palettes like that. I actually didn't get the tan one, but I probably will at some point because it looks really beautiful. So that was for the um, blush and like highlight portion. And I wanted to do kind of like a mini haul in this video also because there are so many cute products out at Sephora right now. I guess it's like all the spring stuff is coming and it's like really hard to not buy everything. <laughs> um, so I got some really fun lip products this all of it so the first one I'm gonna put on my lips now because they're super dry it's the glow recipe um, watermelon glow lip pop you guys know I have the glow recipe what is it called again <laughs> the watermelon glow ultra fine mist so I had to get the lip glow as well because it has the same scent and yeah, I'm obsessed. And this actually has a shade name, so I don't know if that means they're going to come out with different ones. But it's called Watermelon Pink. And I'll just read, like, the box because I like to make sure I'm using things as I should be. 
So it says, this scrub to balm is concentrated with watermelon, coconut sugar, and flour AHA to hydrate smooth and tint lips. No rinse necessary. Oh, yay. I love that. To use as an everyday treatment, reapply throughout the day for an immediate soothing effect and a plush lip look. Apply three coats to build up color. Or to use as a lip prep, apply as a nourishing smoothing primer to keep your lipstick looking fresh and flawless all day and night long. So that's what I'm going to do today because I'm going to probably put another lip product on after. So this is a packaging. It's very cute i will say once you like take this cap part off this part feels very cheap like and a bit flimsy like it's wobbling around if you can hear that um and this is the product itself and you can see it has like specks which i am assuming is the scrub portion so yeah, and it smells amazing. I love the watermelon smell from Glow Recipe because it's not like a gross, like, fake candy smell. It actually, it smells sweet, but it does really smell like watermelon. So, let's put this on. Ooh. It feels really nice. I love it. Wow, it's very pink tone. But that's okay because I'm using it as a balm. Like before I put lip product on. Wow. <laughs> that was only like not a lot of layers. And it's very pink. But it feels like super nice. Almost like a lip oil a bit. And it smells really nice too. I'm excited about that. I don't, I wouldn't say I felt the scrub part of it, but that's okay because uh, I have other products for scrubbing my lips. But yeah, this is uh, a winner for now. <laughs> um, I also had to pick up the Fenty Beauty, the new shade of the Gloss Balm because I have the other three. It's this one here. This is the shade Hot Chocolate, like chocolate, get it? Yes. I just want to smell this. It smells the same as the other ones, but it's amazing. Yes. <laughs> so this one is almost, can you even see? This is like, um, almost like a brown, but it's a gloss, so it's sheer. That's the color. That looks so pretty. I might put this on after. And I was happy to see she came in with this one as a full size because it was the one in her little like holiday minis that I was most interested in. But I already had um, Fussy. So I didn't want to get the whole set. I think there was another one that I already have. So I'm happy to have this one. And then the same day that I got the Love Glow palette, I had to pick up this because it was in the same, you know, um, where like the new products are. It's the Kaja Air Heart Lightweight Natural Finish Lipstick. This is the packaging. So you guys know I love the Kaja lip gloss stick thing, the heart melter. So this is the same idea, but it's a lipstick, like a bullet lipstick. So the packaging is a shape like a heart. So pretty. And so is the bullet itself. So I got this shade Sprung. I didn't know what shade to get because they all kind of looked similar. But a lot of them were like lip products that I was pretty sure I already had in my collection. But this one seemed to be like the most... I don't know, the most, like, not pigmented, but, like, 
the most color payoff, I guess. And it was the last one in the store and they didn't have any others in back. So I was like, oh, I guess people like it. So right away that felt like super velvety, which I like. It's almost like um, one of those like powder finish lipsticks, but I don't think it's supposed to be matte. Just says, yeah, lightweight, natural finish lipstick. So I'm really excited about this. I think it has a scent. Like a bit of a sweet scent, maybe? And then I also got this one because it was an impulse buy. I smelled the tester and I had to have it. It's the Tarte Maracuya Glossy Lip Oil. This is the packaging. And it's like... A pink gloss so they call it a glossy lip oil but I have used this already I had to put it on like right after I bought it and I will say this to me is not an oil at all it felt really more like a gloss bomb kind of texture um, kind of like the Fenty actually like it's a thicker texture but it felt really nice on the lips and it lasted a while too so the um, Applicator is like a brush, which I really like also. And the smell of this, oh my god. So like all the new lip products smell amazing. It's like which one do I get? But yeah, I had to get this one. And this was $20, so it's on like the less pricey side compared to some of the other new products. Well, new like lip oils. And for eyeshadow, I didn't show you guys this yet either. So I did get the Amorese palette, which I think is pretty Valentine's Day-esque as well. This is the packaging, it's so pretty. It is very Barbie, which is kind of her like branding, so <laughs> makes sense. And this is the inside. It's so beautiful. Um, so it kind of has like a modern renaissance vibe. Like especially the, this bottom row. Then you do have like some fun pops of color. This blue looks beautiful. This pink here. And you have two... Yeah, two pressed glitters which... I'm kind of scared about putting near my eyes, but you have this one here, Liddy, and this gold Gemini. But yeah, I'm, I might want to use this. Although I'm not going for like a crazy eye look today. I want to keep it very skin focused. Um, but I also picked up this, and I'm surprised no one is talking about these. This is the Sephora Eye Stories palette in Fresh Florals. So there's um, actually three different kinds of these, and they're all so cute. The packaging, anyway. So this is what this one looks like. Like, doesn't this just, like, inspire you for, like, to do spring looks and like just think about it and daydream about spring <laughs> at least for me because where I live it's gonna be winter for like four more months but this is what the colors are and I love it if you guys didn't know I love yellow eyeshadow and you have this like almost mustard shade here and I think it goes really nice with the purples um, in the palette and I swatched these in store and I was like how is no one talking about these these are only $14 so let me show you they feel like so creamy like this is the um, the matte like for me a brow bone shade it's called rosebud this is the shade petal it's like a lilac shimmer shade like they almost feel like wet that's the mustardy shade sunflower and that's the shade orchid let me put these on somewhere is this gonna work i'm trying to be like tara babies if you guys 
have seen her videos, she swatches like everything she buys. Oh dear. That's the the first four shades there. So there's two more. This is the shade Dew. And the shade Florist. So that's the Fresh Florals palette. I don't know, I just think it looks really pretty. And I haven't seen anyone do videos on this. At least not the people that I usually watch. So if this is good on the eyes also, I'm probably going to get the other one. I think it's called Coffee Break because the packaging alone so cute it has little like coffee cups all over it and it's more like a neutral palette so I think I can get some good use out of it and like for traveling probably see you see how I like talk myself into buying more things that I don't need <laughs> yeah so I really don't know which one of these I want to dig into I'm just gonna do like something neutral anyway so it doesn't really matter Okay, I think I'm going to use this just because the Amrezy palette is like making me want to do something more fun and colorful, but that's not the look I'm going for. Yeah, the only thing is there's no mirror in this palette, so if that's something you care about, but I mean that's why it's $14, right? Because it's basic. So I'm just like blending out my concealer because it creased while I was talking. By the way, if you want to see a full video for the Amrezy palette, let me know below because I definitely also want, really want to try that one too. So first I'm just going to go in with the shade Rosebud all over the lid kind of to like set, set my concealer. I didn't use any eye primer today, but if you're actually like doing this kind of look to like go out, maybe you'd want to do that. I don't know, do people even like do stuff for Valentine's Day? <laughs> I feel like it's the most chill of the holidays, or is that just because I'm not like single and partying. <laughs> I don't know. I think um, Josh and I are just going out for dinner. Probably on the Saturday, not on the actual day. Yes, that's a good shade for my skin tone. I'm gonna go in with the shade Orchid. So this like purple shade here. There's a lot of kick up in the pan. Ooh, I'm just putting this in the crease and kind of everywhere, but I'm gonna leave like some brightness on the lid. That was like effortless. Okay, that's like super nice. Not gonna lie, I was thinking this might have one of those formulas that swatches really nicely and like feels really nice and creamy, but that just like disappears on the eye. But so far, this is looking really nice. And just to like deepen up the outer corner a bit, I'm gonna go in with the brown shade. Um, I think I'm just gonna use this pencil brush because I don't want it to get too glam. So that's the shade here, Florist. I think this is brown. Yeah, it's like a chocolatey brown shade. Okay, this is so good. Look, that's so like smooth and non-patchy. There's a lot of kick up though, but um, that doesn't bother me unless it's like falling down all over my face, but this one isn't. 
And I always tap off my brush if that's the case so that I don't go in with like too much shadow at once. I do kind of want to put some shimmer on my eyelid though. I think for this look, yeah, I'm gonna go in with Petal. That like pinky lilac shade, I think it would go nice with the face. But I've been loving this Tarte brush, by the way. It has no name on it. I don't know where I got it, <laughs> but if you find a brush like the same shape, it's like a flat, um, dense brush. This is amazing for shimmer shades because it picks them up really nicely. See? It's so, like, pigmented. And you can actually get it to stick to your eyelid. That's beautiful. Yeah, so everyone is sleeping on these Sephora Eye Stories palettes, if you ask me. So I'm just going to go in with a clean brush, if I can find one, <laughs> just to like soften this here. And just, um, I'm going to go in with a touch of the matte, like, cream shade just on the brow bone. I just feel like that adds like some brightness back to the eye. Cause I have like hooded, well, I guess they're like half hooded um, lids. So if I don't come up past the crease with the color shadow, uh, then you won't see it at all. So. Sometimes I go a little too high though, so I like to do that just to clean things up. For the bottom lash line, I just want to do like a touch of the brown just to like tie it together. So I'm going to do my mascara and brows off camera and then we will come back to finish the face. Okay, so I have my mascara which was the Milk Kush Mascara and my eyebrow, whatever, fiber gel. It's the Make Me Brow from Essence. I don't love either of those products, but just in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, I actually really like this lip. This was just the glow bomb thing. And it does actually go with this look. But do I want to do something else? I kind of want to really try that Kaja lipstick. I'm just kind of scared it will clash. Is it too red? Maybe if I just tap it on, that could work. I kind of like, yeah, that looks really pretty actually. It's very spring, I feel. So I think this is one of those formulas that you could like layer and it will get more and more pigmented, but you could also just do what I did and just tap some on and it still gives some good color. So yeah, I really like that. It feels really nice. Like it really is what it says it is. What did it say? Lightweight, natural finish. Yeah. It's like you can't even tell that you're wearing that you have something on your lips. So, yeah. I like that too. I don't think I even want to put anything else on the face. I was thinking, like, I didn't put bronzer on because I went in with this. And I think I don't want to do that. Because I don't want to mess up this, like, nice glow that we have going on. So, just to add some more glow, <laughs> I'm going to use my... Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I think I really like this. I love when, like, the idea in my head actually works out because <laughs> since I'm not a makeup artist, it's, like, hard to put into practice, like, the look I'm thinking. But this just like worked out. So 
I think I really liked everything I tried like based on first impressions I love this I'm really happy I got it I love the glow recipe uh, the watermelon glow lip pop this is amazing the lipstick love it I don't know how well it's gonna wear on top of that watermelon glow because it feels very like slippery right now but yeah I can give you an update on that um, and this this is so good 14 bucks I definitely need the coffee one yes it's been decided oh and I didn't even notice like on the bottom here it tells you how to do a look so that's fun this is so pretty this is gonna be like in my main vicinity for spring I feel I think that was all this was a very easy look I think it's really good for those of you who maybe have something planned for Valentine's Day but it's not like you're not like going to the club and you want to look crazy glam <laughs> I don't know like you just want like a nice fresh look and it's very like it makes me feel like happy for spring even though like I said that's very far away for me but I like to dream so um did I want to show you anything else no I think that's all. Those are like my a mini haul of like the Valentine's Day slash spring products that really caught my eye. So yeah, I do have some other things to show you, but I think that could be for another video. Oh, should I fix my hair? Yeah, I had to take my hair down because that headband was hurting my head. Anyway, I hope you like this look and you like this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!